So Bill, our prep work is essentially finished. We finished off the uh, anchor locker up on the bow, painted it, epoxied in the, all of the supports, and now mm -hmm. we have the windlass and it gets time to Brittle come down and do the, the thing. So you have the windlass here in your lap. Yep. It's a Pro 1000. From Lumar. From Lumar. All stainless steel construction. And uh, I'm just getting ready to uh, put the studs in here. I've got them in hand tight and a little bit of goo on them. Now explain this tool that you have in your hand. The tool, it comes with every kit and this tool actually installs everything. Right down to all the wiring on the solenoids and so on and so forth. It's got a multi-step uh, base so that I can tighten this up and I can tighten the nuts up on it and I can also do all of the connections on the solenoid with this. And that comes from the factory? This comes from the factory. It's also got a square drive key in there which allows me to tighten and loosen the clutch and also if you don't happen to have a half inch ratcheting wrench we'll go in here and this is your manual way to actually operate the windlass gotcha if you had to bring it up by hand this would take you an awful long time but you could get it up uh, you're better off really to have a ratcheting windlass though but uh, this is really more for getting the clutch to tighten down well enough huh. that's what and we'll go over those free adjustments chance. once we get the windlass installed. Right, and that's also how you'll get it to free fall. Alright, what happens is you'll take your power from your battery, and then we'll go to the studs on the back of the breaker, which are marked one side for one side, battery and auxiliary. Auxiliary means whatever it is you're going to power. From there, you go from the breaker to the center, center post of the solenoid, the two rear posts are for the incoming lines from the windlass. So there we see the three major right lines. Okay. And then a ground post for the solenoid to work, excuse me. And that'll go directly to the battery? That'll go directly to the battery as well. So this basically what it does is when the signal wires are plugged in here, which is from your foot switch or your handheld or your wireless controls, whatever you may have, this sends the signal to tell which way for the solenoid to connect. Do we connect it these two together or these two together, which basically switches, the up or switches the down. polarity and changes whether or not you're going up or going down. This is for the circuit breaker, which usually takes a little a little messing around uh, with a file just to get the corners to go through, but I found out this is probably, especially in areas like this that are very tight, uh -huh. you're working with the jigsaw in here, you'll probably wind up doing more damage to the wood than you're wasting a lot more time than you would just by doing a little bit of hand filing and uh, using the right tools. Gotcha. Uh, when you do it with a hole saw, because you only have these two mounting holes to go through, right? if you make the hole, I mean, you can certainly cut a hole big enough for this to fit, but you wind up encroaching on the mounting holes. Now right. you have nothing to attach it to. So you take your small round file and just right. so you square have to, out the corners. Yeah, you can't just pick any old size hole saw that works. It's the one that actually works is the one that doesn't make it drop in the first time. So you just mark your corners of the pencil. Yep. Yeah, fits right in there. Mm -hmm. So that took a, you know, a grand total of two minutes. Once Bill's attached the right size connector onto the end of the wire and crimped it down using a crimping tool, the next step will be to take the shrink rack tubing and uh, slide it up over the connection itself and use a torch to heat it up and shrink the uh, tubing to create a nice watertight seal so to prevent moisture corrosion in the uh, future. Next step will be to hook up our antenna for our wireless windlass control and then once that's mounted we'll head up on deck and install the windlass itself.